Easter Sunday, everybody. Hope everyone's enjoying their Easter with their family, having a good time. In today's video, we'll be looking at some of the most interesting TikTok conspiracy theories about Easter that will blow your mind. And why do we celebrate Easter? Why do you hide mm -hmm. eggs and bunny rabbits? Well, think about what bunny rabbits are meant, known for. Humping. Dude, you put mm. two rabbits together, dude, next thing you know, there's a hundred. And then the Easter eggs That's is fertility. Yeah. It, was, it was for the god of Ishtar. Isn't that crazy? Most people don't know that. Way back in the day, they celebrated by having orgies and making babies. So Whoa. nine months later, they could sacrifice those babies to Horus, the sun god, who was born December 25th, by the way. Now, when do they say Jesus was born? December 25th. He wasn't. And everybody knows that. You go ask any biblical scholar, they will say he was not born in December 25th. Then why are we celebrating Christmas? Mm, hey, yo, he dropping bombs on us. I can't even lie. That was a lot of information. Can we talk about the dark history of Easter? You got to make sure you check outside. Sorry to say that Easter has nothing to do with Jesus. Many aspects of traditional Christianity, holidays, practices, doctrines, the bunnies, the eggs. Springtime came not from Christ or the Bible, but came from pagan religion. Easter Sunday is a Babylonian pagan holiday, which idolizes the fertility goddess Ishtar. Worshiping Ishtar was intended to ask for her blessing of fertility on the crops and everything else. On the first Sunday after the full moon, they would celebrate by baking cakes, getting drunk and committing other heinous crimes. Women were required to celebrate the conception by laying down at the temple of Ishtar and having relations with anybody who walks in. There is a very, very dark history on why they color eggs. Babies were sacrificed, and the blood of the infants were dipped in the eggs for Ishtar. Want to know the reason there's a bunny rabbit? Rabbits can bear several litters of young each year, meaning they have high fertility. Decorating eggs seems harmless until you consider the origins of it. None of this had to do with Christianity. The bunnies and the eggs are not as simple as they seem, and this holiday is not holy. Y'all be safe. Yo, Ishtar, Easter. It's what do crazy. bunny rabbits and eggs have to do with Easter? Think about what rabbits are known for. Other than their big ears and hops, they're infamous for spreading like wildfire. That's right, every season is cuffing season for these guys. Do a quick search online and you can even see for yourself. Rabbits are known for their insatiable reproductive habits and ain't no one stopping them once they're bricked. What about Easter eggs? They represented fertility. Now I know rabbits don't lay eggs, but they were symbolic of a pretty twisted tradition. Way back in the day, people celebrated the day that we now know as Easter by literally having orgies and making babies in honor of the Mesopotamian god of fertility. Ishtar, which sounds oddly similar to Easter, but apparently that's just a coincidence. So that nine months later, they could sacrifice those babies to Horus, the sun god, who was known as an Egyptian god, but historic records show had earlier roots. Now, what day was that celebrated on? Horus's birthday, of course, which was December 25th, which just so happens to be nine months after Easter. What other major holiday takes place on December 25th? Don't get mad at me, I'm just reciting history. You make your own call. Just remember to bring this up during Easter dinner when someone asks you, the Dark Truth of Easter and the Willy Wonka movie. The Willy Wonka movie? Ishtar, I didn't know that was the pagan to goddess of fertility. She carried a rabbit and eggs in a basket, which is where you get the Easter bunny origins from. She sacrificed children and dyed the eggs with the blood of the children, which is where you get the dying eggs tradition from. If it's a good egg, it shined up and shipped out all over the world. But if it's a bad egg, down the ship. I want my geese to lay gold eggs for Easter. It will, sweetheart. At least a hundred a day. She was a bad egg. Where's she gone? Where all the other bad eggs go? Down the garbage chute. Oh, the garbage chute. <laughs> what, what did they do? Furnace. Ishtar sacrificed the children to the sun god Baal, which is why he said furnace. The egg symbolizes fertility. Mm. They tie in all of this stuff together, ain't they? Many people are just dead wrong about where the origins of Easter come from, and I'm sorry, Michael, I love you, but you are also dead wrong. And just like you've asked, I've left all my sources and citations of history at the end of the video so you can check them out. But first, let me explain. Now, if you're a Christian, the information I'm about to tell you will shock you. However, trust me, the historians that I cite Trigger in this video warning. are experts in their field. We can't talk about the origins of Easter without talking about the hair club for men. The hair club for men, or the keepers, or 
guardians of the secret are an ancient Israeli Christian sect dedicated to keeping the true message of Easter alive. One of the most famous members of the Hair Club for Men was Leonardo da Vinci, and he left clues about the true history in his most famous artwork. This is an image of the Last Supper. What do you see on the table? Let's zoom in to right in front of St. Peter. Looks a bit strange, doesn't it? Almost looks like an egg. Yeah, it does look like now, eggs. Now, what would a plain egg be doing at the Last Supper? Well, we need to turn to the Bible. In Matthew 16 verse 18, Jesus said, and I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and for the gates of Hades will not overcome it. How was Peter special than all the other disciples, the other men that were sitting at the table? Well, if he was a man, he wouldn't be different. But he wasn't a man. Saint Peter was a rabbit. Whoa, were they saying he was a rabbit? What's even more damning is the word rock here wow. in Greek is astil, which is also the Greek word for rabbit. And this is why every biblical scholar actually translates it this way in their manuscripts. See, it makes sense. God cannot trust one man to rule the church. So he chose the most innocent, beautiful creature to be head, the head of his organization. Mm, and you can Peter see proof rabbit. of this everywhere. Wow. If you use Theodolite laser technology to peer underneath the paint, you can see how the original painting of the Last Supper was painted. And you can even see this in the Pope's hat. It makes no sense for a human to wear that size of a hat. Unless you've got ears to hide. The head of the has been decorating eggs and keeping the true history of the bunny alive. This is the true history of Christianity. And if you have a problem with that, take it up with the historians referenced here. Mm, what y'all think about that? Do y'all think Peter was a rabbit? You guys talked about Santa and Christmas yeah, yeah. relating to mushrooms. Yeah. So there's another theory, not even a theory. I believe this is actually what happened. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm convinced. So with Easter, when mushrooms grow, they start in this bulb shape, which is called an egg. Yeah. All right. And they grow in certain seasons very well. Mm -hmm. So around Easter time, these bulbs would be popping out of the ground. Yeah. And of course, their, their term is egg. So mm -hmm. people would go on egg hunts during these times <laughs> and they'd yeah. bring them home and that's where, where, where Easter egg hunting from i believe so because there are actually stories of it like hunting for mushrooms you're looking for eggs that's what they called them bro that makes so much sense yeah because remember i think in the rg episode i was talking about like where did easter come from where did yeah. these eggs come from well they say that the easter bunny was just thrown in for commercial purposes they mm -hmm. needed something for marketing right mm -hmm. but the egg part the egg part yeah because when when mushrooms grow they start yeah that's that's like th it's the actual term what's a conspiracy theory that you a thousand percent believe in the ancient civilizations on earth were far more advanced than we're being told and that one of them possibly even thrived before our oceans even existed. Stay with me. Mm. In the spring of 2013, a gentleman was sailing his yacht around the Azores Islands, an autonomous region of Portugal, when he discovered a large pyramid underwater. They would find that this architectural marvel was 60 feet tall and bigger around than a football field. So naturally, I had to dig deeper. And as I did, I kept seeing pictures of it circled on Google Earth. And of course, I had to go find it for myself. It's right here. But as I was checking it out, I thought to myself, well, where there's one, there's got to be more, right? Well, look right above it. Mm -hmm. One, two, two more pyramids. From there, it was over. I was up all night scanning the entire ocean floor. And what I found absolutely blew my mind. That there were large clusters of what could be potential pyramids at the depths of the ocean all over the world. And I mean thousands of them. Do you see it? As I was scanning the ocean floor the other night, I spotted this. So I zoomed in on it. To me, it looks just like the statues of giants from Easter Island. Then I spotted another face right next to it, surrounded by idols. Check them out. Look at that one's definitive. Here's another one. But the most interesting part, the statues I found were just north of Hawaii, over 4,000 miles away from Easter Island. Mm -hmm. But I wanted more evidence, I I so I went Easter back to Easter Island. Island and checked around it. Notice these circular structures, a number of them, blurred out. And sure enough, blurred out, another one, another one, another one. They're a circular structure with a peak at the top. So I came to the conclusion that this civilization of people existed here and north of Hawaii. So I thought to myself, they had to travel to get there. What path did they take? So after coming to the conclusion that the same people that lived on Easter Island also lived north of Hawaii, I figured they must have traveled to get there. So I looked closely and look at this. The path. heads mm. west and north. Not only that, they actually had a path going from Easter Island back to South America. 
you can literally see the beaten path going to the land. Then I quickly noticed okay. that looks like around the area of Peru. And that's when my light bulb just went off. If you didn't know this, Paracas, Peru is where Julio Tello in 1928 discovered over 300 elongated skulls on a desert peninsula. So I bet you know what I did next. Paracas, Peru. What a coincidence. Straight to it. The elongated skull people of Paracas, Peru were probably behind the pyramids and the large idols. Oh, and one last thing. Mm. Don't their statues kind of resemble something found on Mars? Yo, I don't know if that had anything to do with the holiday Easter. Easter Sunday, they Easter celebrated the Sunday. That was great. Well, but you see, there's something wrong with that. Mm -hmm. They said they killed him on Friday. It took three days to rise. Now, give me your hand. Okay. Now, count three days from Friday. Saturday, yeah. Sunday, Monday. There you go. Think about that. One year Easter come in March, another year it comes in April. You can't be killed in two different months. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can't be killed in two different days, let alone two different months. Yeah. Do you know that Easter Sunday never falls on the same date year to year? And I'll tell you why. Look at the screen here, for example. Let's go back five or six years. In 1996, Easter came on April the 7th. That's when you all celebrated it. The next year, 1997, it came on March the 30th. The next year, 1998, it came on April the 12th. Last that year, it came strange, on April it? the 3rd. This year, it's gonna come on April the 23rd. So how can you have a difference from April the 23rd clear back to March 30th? That's a difference of 23 days. How does that happen? I'll tell you how it happens. Easter is not regulated by a date. Easter is regulated by the solar system. You know why? Easter always comes the first Sunday after the first full moon, after the equinox when days and nights are equal length. You never knew that, did you? Hmm. I did not know that. But that's good knowledge right there. Easter, a religious celebration commemorating the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. But is this really a Christian holiday? Let's find out. Easter, it comes from an old English word that usually appears in the form of Eastrum, that is used to translate Passover. Bede, an old author, referred to it as the month of corresponding to April, the usual time that is celebrated every year. In his book, Month of Oastre, he said it was once called after the goddess of their name, Oastre, and was honored, a lot of people honored her by doing feasts on that month. Bede states that during April, pagan Anglo-Saxons had held feasts in Oastre's honor, but this, this tradition died out after it was replaced with the Christian celebration of the, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Oastre was worshipped under many names by the ancient societies. She was an ancient Mesopotamian goddess associated with love, beauty, sex, war, justice, and political power. Babylonians and Syrians, under the name of Ishtar, worshipped her. She was known as the Queen of Heaven. In the Bible, the Hebrews referred to her as Ashtoreth and they worshipped her when they rebuilt against him. Hmm. I can't believe these facts about the Easter Island heads. They have huge bodies buried underground, and evidence suggests it would have taken over 1,000 people to move one of them. The Mao, we are supposed to be protectors of the island. And some people believe that by removing them, we have locked ancient curses. Is there a higher power who protects them? Probably. There probably was a mud flood there or something. Like, oh, I shoot. Here I go, flood. making people mad again. Yep, blinds are closed. Today, guys, we're going to talk about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. This video is exactly for you wonderful souls in the comments like this. Say you don't care about the eggs or the bunnies. And that's the point, not to care about specific things that have brainwashed and controlled our lives. So apparently Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and she saw the stone had been removed and Jesus' body was not there. Jesus was in the body of a human. So when a human dies, right, in order to the Christians, after you die, you either go to heaven or hell. What did Jesus do after he died? He ascended to heaven. So when he came back to life in his physical body, he just floated up to the top. It is told that heaven is in the sky, past Earth. But when an astronaut goes in a rocket ship and drives up there, it goes to space. So we can all say that heaven or hell is a spiritual place. Where's his physical body at if he walked Earth? The resurrection of your Lord, he's called the sun, right? He always got the sun behind his head. I'm going to break this down for you. But as I have said before, everything comes from something. The Egyptians believed in the resurrection of the sun. You guys believe in the resurrection of the sun. Do you see the sun behind his head? When is the sun at its lowest amount? It's cold and most plants die. In December, the sun is literally pointed away from us. So when spring comes, it comes back to us. When everything begins to grow, new seedlings sprout, all of that. So the sun comes back alive, which is in springtime when they say he resurrected. 
So if I have showed you that Easter is a pagan holiday and it came from something, what makes you think that the resurrection of the sun didn't come from the resurrection of the sun? So are you really celebrating something that was a source? I just want to make sure you understand and know everything that you're doing. Y'all be safe. Mm. She be dropping them gems, don't she? Easter is a popular religious holiday celebrated in the spring by millions of people across the globe. It calls to mind familiar images of rabbits, colored eggs, baskets of candy, hot cross buns, and sunrise services. Professing Christians believe Easter commemorates the Sunday morning resurrection of Jesus Christ. Yet most accept this tradition without understanding what the day actually represents. Have you ever asked, is Easter biblical? The Bible does appear to mention this holiday once. Acts 12.4 states, Herod put Peter in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. However, this verse is mistranslated. The word rendered Easter is the Greek word Pascha, derived from the Hebrew word Pesach. It does not mean Easter. It should be translated Passover, which is one of God's seven annual feasts and holy days. Hmm. Nowhere in scripture does God instruct his people to observe Easter or other popular holidays like Christmas, New Year's, and Valentine's Day. This is because they are rooted in pagan tradition. Celebrating them violates God's command to learn not the way of the heathen. The true origin of Easter comes from pagan beliefs, centered on the worship of false gods, which defies the first commandment, You shall have no other gods before me. The name of this holiday is derived from the ancient Sumerian goddess Ishtar, and each of its common symbols also have roots in Babylonian, Egyptian, and various other religious customs. Beyond this, the teaching that Jesus was resurrected on Sunday morning is false. He did not die on Good Friday, and he did not rise on Resurrection Sunday. If he did, he would not have been in the grave three days and three nights, which was the only sign he gave that he was the Messiah. Despite what ministers all over the world tell you, Easter is not a true Christian holiday. Jesus rose from the dead. What if Jesus was a high dimensional ascended master being who was applying the ability of disassembling physical particles and then mm. reassembling into a physical body? So these high dimensional mm. galactic Here's beings, they have the ability to take physical form if they choose, but otherwise their natural form is a light body. It's frequency, it's energy. They can take physical form in a physical body and then they can disassemble their particles and quantum leap somewhere else and retake a physical form reassemble their particles can i do that what if jesus as a high ascended master being reassembled his particles he he was in his light body right when he died and left his physical form he went to his light body and then he reassembled his particles in the physical realm and was like hey I'm back, y'all. We have that ability. We are upgrading, as I say all the time. And we will once again reach that ability to disassemble our particles and reassemble if we so choose. If we so please, we'll be at such a, such a quantum level that our light bodies will operate differently than our physical bodies. How do you think quantum jumping and quantum leaping and interdimensional travel works? It's good info right there. I know it's Easter and the store is closed. But. Why does Lowe's have their entire front barricaded? I've never seen this before. Mm, that's a good question. Why would they do that? You think people are just gonna run in there and 
Ramsack they spot. Take everything. Hmm. Oh yeah, you can't even get back there or nothing. Y'all let me know about that, man. Why they got Lowe's barricaded? Easter, religious holiday. Easter egg hunt. How the fuck? How did we get there? Okay, so oh, since bro. ancient times, rabbits have always been seen as magical creatures due to their elusive behavior, especially at night. People even thought that they had something to do with the moon cycle. And you know what else they thought had something to do with the moon cycle? women's periods. So because of that and the fact that bunnies pull ass like no other, they were seen as a symbol of fertility. Eggs are also seen as a symbol of fertility. Over the years, humans connected these things to the Virgin Mary, somebody who was so fertile that she had a kid as a virgin. This can be seen in a lot of Northern European Christian art. Orthodox Christians also took part in Lent, where they don't eat for a while, but the day before Easter, they would eat a bunch of multicolored eggs. First no reference to an Easter rabbit bringing eggs to children is from 17th century professor George Frankton Frankenau in his book, Easter Rabbit. Basically, when German Protestants came to the United States in the 18th century, they brought this idea with them and just spread it around. So now we have Jesus and the Easter Bunny. You're welcome. Okay, okay. So guys, these are some of the most crazy TikTok conspiracy theories about Easter. Let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think about these? If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe, turn your notification bell on, and until next time, YouTube, peace.